Dude, you could put you some pretty stuff in there. So take out the cedars because tell me what you just said about the cedars because I didn't know that. Well, they 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 they're, there's cedars. That's just it's just like a tick bed. Wow. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Hey everybody. I am having a great day here on the homestead and I want to share with you what's going on. So stay tuned. So they My don't... son done he does surveying used to and he uh he said, you know, they go out and survey farms and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said get to an old farm, it's all grown up, it's full of cedars. He said, Boy, he dreaded it because of the ticks. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I could be growing all kinds of stuff right there. Yeah. You take out them old cedars and it would open this up. Yeah. You can see into the woods up there nice. Yeah. And then you, cause you got all this outline stuff. You yeah. can really fix this up. Take all that vine stuff out yeah. and then put some. Make, make him reach over here and snatch him right out of there for you. Just Oh, your brother? Yeah. Oh, he'll snatch the trees out? Yeah, he'll snatch them out. <laughs> <laughs> what we do with all those ticks? <laughs> uh, well, hopefully they hang on to the trees. We get it out, you <laughs> Burn them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, gosh. you got a, a beautiful bed there for just those big cedar trees be growing in it. Yeah, you're right. I got plenty of trees. Yeah, you got all kinds of trees. I don't need those trees. trees. And I got a lot. Look at all those cedar trees over there. Wow. There's yeah. a lot of ticks here. Yeah. Well, that's out away from your house, too. Right, right. You know? Mm hmm But I think the way those things get around a lot is they just kind of get blowed, you know, with the wind. Mm -hmm. Blow ticks and stuff. Mm hmm Or you if know. you walk by and brush it, it yeah, just you, jumps yeah. on you. And if you put anything under here, you're going to be all in them. Oh, gosh. No, I don't want that. I'm glad you told me that. Yeah. Those are coming out. Yeah, he just reach over in there and snatch them. You take them and put them off down yonder and I'll put you under wherever you want them. See, this year just to bring it up. Yes, I know. That's not the color we're using. Oh, I see. Okay. No. Got it. That's got too much brown in it. Tommy, why don't I move your light around this way so you can see better? Right. If there's one thing I love is for things to be level, Tommy, so I appreciate you doing that. Oh, it's got to be. Ain't no... Ain't no two ways about it? Uh-oh. Are they already stuck down? No. Oh. I mean, yeah, I mean, they're setting. We're tucking in with the other stuff. Around the edges? Yeah. Yeah, I was I was gonna say they're already setting in it, right? Yeah. So okay. Well, I think they look great. We're gonna have setting them in this instead of that other stuff's like forty bucks a bag. Oh, good grief! Yeah, it's that buff stuff, but it's good stuff, you know. Oh, but that's just for the. Yeah. Okay. So. Tommy is back from Atlanta. The bad news is his brother passed away and he was down there for the funeral. But he came back today and we were chatting. I gave him a cup of tea. Uh, we're chatting and I'm telling him about, he asked me about the plumbing and what I was doing about that. And I said, I hadn't decided. So we started talking and you know, there are a number of issues that I've talked about in the videos that have to be taken care of here. Namely, I have to get a new vapor barrier under the house. You saw the one that was down there. It's not sufficient. Another issue I haven't even talked about, which was on the inspection report, is that the dirt is too high on the sides of the, the house. There isn't enough something or other to, to get water away from the foundation. 
And then I have the issue of the French drain. I need to put a French drain in the back because there's so much water coming off that hill. And then in addition to that, I'm looking at my pole barn or shop building out there. It never had gutters. Some rotting is taking place in the wood underneath where the water is coming down, especially on the uphill side. I had a gutter roofing person here yesterday telling me that, you know, it's really difficult to put gutters on this building for a number of reasons. <laughs> I was debating on rebuilding it, but you know, if you are trying to enhance your property, you don't spend money on the shed. <laughs> You spend money on the focal point, which is my eye candy, my fireplace, your kitchen, and your bathrooms. Now, the bathrooms had been redone here before I moved in, but the kitchen cabinets are from 1988. So that's something that's going to be on my list at some point. First, I have to get these water issues taken care of because after that huge downpour, ha oh, it's so degraded on that side. I wish I had gone in a raincoat and just walked down there and filmed that. That must have been like a major roaring stream down along my driveway. Tommy tells me that this is the kind of work that his brother does. And he's been doing it his whole life, just like Tommy's been doing this kind of work. He's, Tommy started bricking a house when he was uh, in high school. So <laughs> I'm just going, fantastic. So they came over. And he gave me a very good price to do everything. Can you imagine? I'm gonna get all of that stuff done. So I'm very excited about it. Anyway, those are some of the things that are going on. And now I am going to go out and try to see if I can interpret the directions on the seal that goes on the bottom of the garage door and see if I can replace that. See if I'm capable of doing that. That's what we have to do if we're on our own and we're new homesteaders, right? So I'm gonna give it a try, let's go. And while I'm doing that, Tommy is working on the hearthstones. He was not happy with the way that they had cut on that saw out front. And he took four new stones to a big table saw place, a person that has a big table saw. It is a wet saw, but he cut it without water, but still it cut much better than this one did. So I'm keeping those stones and I'm gonna have Tommy build me a little seat outside somewhere. Won't that be great? Oh my gosh, I've got such plans. <laughs> You'll see them as they develop. And yesterday I got the chimney swept and he gave me a good bill of health. I can't wait, we may not even have to put the black metal stuff around it because I have a liner. So that means the cold air cannot come down the chimney and come in here. And so, it's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> How's that stuff look? Does it look good enough to eat? I don't know about that. <laughs> I wouldn't think so. But I think it's about as close to that stone as I can think of. It's just a kind of a gray. It's a warm gray. That's what it needs to be. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Now this looks kind of nasty, but it'll get cleaned up. It'll look fine. It'll look good. Okay. You can see this mess. Okay, the good news is I get to use my new tool set that was given to me. Look, my new socket wrench. Oh, it's called a drive socket set. And um, this plastic is, it looks like it's from 1988, really. Uh, no, it would be, I think there's a, a date of 2003 on these garage doors. So that's a good 17 years of rubber. It just doesn't last. Unfortunately, this is a this kind, and I need a this kind. Maybe you don't use this. Maybe you use something else. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out, read the directions, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Let's see, probably what I should do first is figure out which one of these fit 
the bolt. I'm going to guess, see if this is right. I think that's one size too big. Wow, that looks really small. How can that be? Maybe it's this side. What's the difference in this side and that side, I wonder? Wow. I think you're just supposed to know this stuff. Hmm. What about the rest of it? This is too big to go on there. Maybe this thing. I'm afraid if I put that on there, how would I get it out? There's no button. I think I got the right one. And I think I, this thing goes one direction to tighten or to loosen. I got that. I have no idea how this comes off once I've got it on there, but it's on there and it seems to fit. Oh, it's coming off. <laughs> this could take a while. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Seems like it'd be faster to use a pair of pliers. Why isn't it making that sound? Okay, if it takes a half an hour to take out one screw, I'm not gonna finish this job, obviously. My arms are getting tired. Be so much easier to have just a, a thing like that. Seems like I have one of those. Okay, you remember this? My favorite tool from installing my dryer? Okay, this could take a while. Come on. Good heavens. Come on, this needs to have a magnet in it. Number two. Oh, but look. How are you gonna... Oh. I need to get on a ladder and get this up so that it's a little bit higher. Still not enough. Yep. Got a new ladder, did you notice? <laughs> okay, now we're cooking on all four burners. Yeah. Oh, that's what I need to do. Just slide that out first and then take the track off. It is getting colder. It is getting colder. For sure. Ow. What am I running into? Anything? Man, this this is the hardest plastic. Okay. Oh, now you got plain view of those screws. <laughs> I could have just bought that part. It would be so much easier if you knew how to do stuff. <laughs> okay, so I'm opening this, which costs a lot more than just the rubber thing. And I had the rubber thing, but my handyman said it just wasn't the right size. 
So obviously, obviously these plastic parts come in four sections and that seems odd to me because I don't see Okay, there is no seam. There's no seam up there. So, I have a feeling. Oh, great. These tracks don't even have holes in them. I'm supposed to drill holes? Are you kidding me? No. No, no, no. This is a no grill. A no drill girl. Holy smokes. I could probably use this. Whew, still got to be cut. And it's very wrinkled. You know how I feel about wrinkles. <laughs> Okay, I am so not happy with this. I really should return all of this. Pretty nasty, but that's a big job. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more screws to come out of there. You saw how long that took. Yeah, I gotta rethink this, really. This is not practical. What I decided to do is return all these. Two are not open. I'm hoping they'll take them back. And I'm going to take this strip off of that one to Lowe's and see if I can get someone in that department to give me the exact one. Because all I've gotta do is slip it on. I don't want to take all those screws off and drill more holes. Not for a, a door that was made in 2003. You know? So. It's what? Something that requires what? A signature. Oh, oh my gosh, it's kind of falling apart. You want to check it out? Oh my gosh, I know what it is. You want to check it out first? They've taped it, I know that. Oh shoot, okay. Uh, so I can wait and you can, you can look she, it out. Yeah, let's do it. She, she uh, oh shoot. Well, she said she put, uh, these are my cushions. Uh, she said she put, she should have put duct tape on here. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, she put each one in a plastic bag. So I'm thinking it's going to be, it's going to be fine. Oops. Thank you, ma'am. Sure. You Thank you. Okay, you too. What a surprise. These are my cushions. <laughs> and, and the box had fallen apart and, and they had taped it at FedEx. Um, but fortunately, Linda was smart and she put each cushion in a separate plastic bag. <laughs> I don't want to even take it out of the plastic until I get inside. I don't want to run the risk of dropping it. <laughs> so you get to see them in the sunroom. fabulous with that. Okay. This would be the... <laughs> I think I'll just, I think I'll just leave the plastic on. <laughs> you know, like in the 60s, they always had plastic on the furniture so it would never get dirty. <laughs> That's what I need. Oh, look. Look. Oh, look at this. I'm so excited. Oh, that looks nice and cushy. Yeah, the old ones are a little flat. 
And look, I have a nice big 16 inch stuffed. This is, oh, doesn't that look fabulous? Oh, I'm so lucky she put plastic. They're so substantial. Oh, what? Oh, wow. One. Two. Look. Wow. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Huh? I said it looks so good. I'm so excited. Well, we'll clean it up. Oh, I know. It's got some cleanup to be done on. It really does. Yeah, you picked out four really great stones. Yeah, they, they are good stones. Because they have the same kind of texture in each one. Yeah. And the and last I've got them all turned. The same way, you know, with same the Same direction. Thank you. I didn't even think of that. That's awesome. And look at it with the... Isn't that going to be sharp as a tack? Wow. Oh. Oh, I'm excited. If it just slipped back in there, we didn't have no issues when it went back in there, then I, I'd have no problem doing it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But... But it, it's going to be a tight fit at the top because we want it to hold it up as much as possible. So, you know, when something that heavy, you're going to wrestle with it a certain amount. Yeah. So we'll give you a little extra time to, to set up. Okay. Super. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good night, <laughs> movie star. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me hide the beer. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am so surprised. I did not expect that today. So much is going on today already. What you did not see is earlier, the fiber optic cable guys knocked on my door and said, oh, well, you know, now that we have to go up the hill on the other side, boom, 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 there's not enough support on the one pole on the street and we need to run a cable all the way up to the telephone pole in your yard just to give support to the people going up the hill getting fiber optics. So um, I said, you have to put that on my telephone pole? And he goes, well, it's technically not your telephone pole. It's the telephone company's pole. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I can't own my own telephone pole in my own yard. Okay, whatever, whatever. So, <laughs> we got that straightened out. And Tommy's doing a great job on the hearth. And I am pooped. <laughs> I'm going to close those garage doors, have a hot cup of tea, and just relax in my beautiful sunroom. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're a late bloomer like me, I hope you'll subscribe and tell your friends that they're gonna be entertained, inspired, and hopefully even educated a little bit on how to take care of yourself on your homestead if you're a late bloomer like me.
See you next time. Oh, yeah, that's just good.